ABC Weather Lab. Here's Eric's forecast. Just like the past several days this week, it was a very warm and sunny start to our Saturday, but the difference has been this afternoon. We started to see a few isolated showers beginning to develop and bringing some much needed rain to portions of Acadiana. So let's get right to it and look at that radar. We can see those showers that began to develop around 2 o'clock this afternoon, mainly on the eastern side of the Atchafalaya Basin first, but then we began to see some of those showers developing back through Acadiana. Started in Iberia and St. Mary Parish, worked up in the St. Martin, and now a few even beginning to make their way into Lafayette and up into northern Acadia and up towards St. Landry Parish. But a lot of this activity will begin to fall apart here within the next couple hours once the sun goes down around 730 and we kind of lose that heating of the day. But it was some good news for these people finally beginning to see some very beneficial rain. But let's take a closer look at some of these areas still seeing the rain. Mainly the rain today focused just north of the Franklin area riding up Highway 90 towards Jennerette. Also got some decent downpours. New Iberia saw some decent rains this afternoon. Lydia, you're about to see some of the rain make its way into your area. But you can see this was some very good heavy downpours at times in some locations and maybe even some remixes of some thunder and lightning up and down Highway 90 right now just towards the Baldwin exit. But you can see, as mentioned, it is beginning to kind of thin out a little bit. And that's what I'm expecting through the rest of this evening. But it did bring some very beneficial rain across portions of Acadiana. St. Martinville over in St. Martin Parish along with parks and up into the Henderson. You saw some of those showers this afternoon. There's one of those little blimps that made its way through. Now we've had another little bit of round that's now being to make its way as mentioned into the lower portions of Lafayette and maybe even lower Lafayette proper starting to see maybe a little blimp on the radar showing up. So I wouldn't rule out a passing shower here or there within the last then 15 minutes there you see it moving through Broussard and Youngsville and then up to the north up towards the Church Point area. Decent downpour is still ongoing in your area. You'll see that continue for another 15 20 minutes over towards the Lottel and getting close to Eunice as well. So we have seen some decent little showers move in across to Cadiana, but those all should come to an end here by 9 10 o'clock this evening. Clearing out starting off with a mix of sun and clouds tomorrow morning for our Mother's Day through the afternoon though. That's when we're going to begin to see possibly one or two more isolated showers, but you can see by two o'clock things relatively quiet across the Cadiana, but it will be out to the west. We think this is where a little better chance for some of that coverage will be over towards the Lake Charles area and into southeast Texas. Most of Acadiana should be dry, so we'll just go 10% chance for the rain for our Mother's Day with lots of sunshine across the area and temperatures getting into the lower 90s. Moving into the new work week, area of high pressure will be developing in the southern Gulf of Mexico, keeping us high and dry for Monday and Tuesday. Day looking dry as well. Maybe a stray shower over towards New Orleans, but the main thing is that low beginning to develop in the Gulf of Mexico. That'll head up towards the Florida Panhandle on Wednesday and give us a little better chance for some wraparound showers Wednesday and then also in the Thursday afternoon as it begins to move on shore and get a little closer to us. So I will say maybe Wednesday and Thursday we're looking at maybe a 20 30 percent chance for some isolated showers, but that low begins to lift up to the northeast by Friday. We're clearing out as another area of high pressure begins to move in just in time for next next weekend, so it should be more hot and dry weather looking ahead to the following weekend. But for the short term, a stray shower early. Otherwise, it's going to be a warm and muggy night with skies clearing after midnight. We'll go 70 for the overnight low, so starting to feel a little bit more tropical. For Mother's Day, not looking too bad. We should have money, plenty of sunshine, temperatures near 90. But again, I won't rule out a stray shower, but any outdoor plans you have for mom should be OK. And I'm not really looking at a whole lot of activity tomorrow. Should be dry the first half of the work week, but as mentioned by Wednesday and Thursday, a little better chance for the rain. Temperatures also starting to get a little bit hotter for the first half of the work week, maybe even touching 94 by Tuesday. Lower 90s though for the rest of the week heading into next weekend, but a very summer like pattern as you see there's 20 to 30 percent chance for a few isolated showers like we saw today each in the next 10 days. So many nines. So many nines. Yep, pool weather is here and it's going to be here that's, for the next. That's the upside. There yeah. you go. All right.